On April 26, 2013, 25-year-old Jessica Haringa was working the evening shift alone at the ExxonMobil gas station in Norton Shores, Michigan. The last confirmed sighting of her occurred at 10.55 p.m. when a female customer purchased a lighter at the station. Approximately 15 minutes later, another customer arrived and discovered that the station was unattended. Sometimes dur- uh, sometime during the brief window, Jessica had mysteriously disappeared. All of her personal items were left behind. And there were no signs of any struggle or robbery, but there was a small drop of blood outside the rear door. In a bizarre turn of events, one of the biggest leads came from the gas station's manager and the manager's husband, who were traveling through the area on their motorcycles at around 11 p.m. They claimed to have seen a silver minivan park, uh, parked near the gas station and noticed an identified man opening and closing the van's rear doors before driving away. As the manager didn't see anything suspicious, she never went into the gas station to check on Jessica. Surveillance cameras from nearby businesses confirmed the existence of this van driving through the area at the time. One possible suspect is a convicted rapist named Brad Mason, who was living in a halfway house only a few kilometers away from the gas station. He had no confirmed alibi on the night that Jessica disappeared. April 24th of 2014, police showed up at Mason's apartment to arrest him for the abduction and rape of another woman. Mason responded by pulling out a toy gun and was shot dead in his in the apparent case of suicide by cop. If Mason had any knowledge about the disappearance of Jessica Haringa, he took the information with him to his grave. <laughs>